Adjusting the thermostat is so annoying. Yes, I have smart thermostats so I can control them right here from my phone and I don't have to get up. But I don't want to adjust them. In fact, I never want to adjust them ever again. I want my smart home to make the temperature exactly right for every room in our house and maybe even take it a step further and make it colder for me and warmer for my kids. But can I do this without severely annoying my family? I think so. I hope so anyways. So here's my current setup, which isn't necessarily bad, but could definitely be a lot better. We have two AC units and the bigger one is split into two zones. So there are three thermostats, each controlling one of three sections of the house. To control them, I set up schedules in the smart thermostat app for when I think we'll be in certain parts of the house. And for the most part, this works fine but sometimes the air will be running across the house and no one is even over there because it's sticking to the schedule. Unacceptable. I need it to be perfect. So I need a way to track if someone is in the area or not. And smart thermostats actually have sensors now that can sense the temperature in separate rooms and even track occupancy. The problem is these sensors and the ones on the smart thermostat are not very accurate and are slow at telling if someone's in the room or not. You might be like, why not just use a motion sensor? That would be fast at detecting someone. Yes, but not at knowing if someone is still in the room. Sit still on the couch and the motion sensor will think the room is empty and turn off the AC. Not great. There's actually a newish technology in the smart home space right now called millimeter wave. And these sensors that use it can map out the entire room and detect the slightest movements. You can be sitting on the couch and scratch your head or pick your favorite drink up and it will detect you. Perfect, this is exactly what I need. But what if I'm standing just outside the range of that millimeter wave sensor? Do I need to put more up and cover every square inch of the house? Those things are kind of expensive. Plus, what if Luna jumps on the couch and she's the only one in the room? Should I just blast the air just for her? Luna hates the cold air. She would be miserable. Clearly some massive plot holes and it's not the perfect setup I wanna have yet. What I need is a system that's more precise. Maybe I combine the millimeter wave with something that can tell exactly where I am in the house. That's where room presence detection comes in. I can put these little guys in a bunch of rooms in my house and it can detect the Bluetooth devices in the room. And these things are only about $5 each so I can cover my entire house and not break the bank. That's exactly what I did. I put these little devices in almost every room of my entire house so my smart home knows exactly where I am. It's amazing. But do I need some kind of special Bluetooth tracker for this to work? Actually, you can just use things like my phone or my wife Allie's phone. What's really cool is if I put my phone on the charger, my smart home automatically switches over and starts tracking my Apple Watch and what room it's in instead of my phone, so I don't have to always carry my phone with me. It's pretty sweet. Well, what about other people in the house or creatures? Yes, I'm looking at you, Luna. Well, I added a Bluetooth eye beacon to her collar so we can make sure she doesn't sabotage my automations. And no, Luna, this isn't a house arrest tracker bracelet thing. Eh, okay, maybe it kind of is. Wait, what about my three little kids? Should I put a Bluetooth tracker on my little baby? I've thought about it because she's just crawling all over the place. But no, I'm not going to put any Bluetooth trackers on my kids. How am I going to track them, though? Remember that millimeter wave sensor I told you about? Well, if it detects someone and there's no Bluetooth phone or watch in this room, then by deductive reasoning, I can probably guess it's my kids. After setting up the room presence detection, it's surprisingly very accurate. So problem solved at being precise. Now I'm getting really close to having the perfect temperature in my house. But is it just gonna get annoying for everyone in the house? You know, what if we have guests over? Or what if Allie just wants to control the temperature herself? Well, even though everything might be starting to sound a little complicated, Changing the temperature to be perfect while not annoying anyone is actually very simple. I have a really basic schedule for my smart thermostat now. There's only two things on it. One for the day, which is the home setting, and then one for the night, which is the sleep setting. The default home temperature during the day is slightly warm since it's assuming no one's in the area. But if the millimeter wave or Bluetooth sensors detect someone in the area, the thermostat will automatically change to a cooler preset. 
That only happens if they've been detected for three minutes to make sure they're not just quickly passing by. Then, if no one is detected for 10 minutes, the thermostat goes back to the default temperature home mode. And this is where it gets really good. If Ali manually changes the temperature, the automation will not adjust the temperature again for that day or until someone clears it. Ali has full control without the automation getting in the way. And the same thing applies at night for when we're sleeping because I don't want the temperature being adjusted then. Plus, and really this is the best part, because my smart home knows exactly where I'm at for my phone or for my watch, the area that I'm currently in can be colder than it normally is so I can stay nice and cool. That way, this doesn't always happen. It's 100 degrees out there. No, it's freezing. Ugh. Of course, all the thermostats go into away mode when no one's home because all the phones are disconnected from Wi-Fi. And just when I thought I finally figured out how to have the perfect temperature in my house, we walked in from being gone for a while. Ugh, it's so hot in here. Well, yeah, because it was off while we were gone and yeah, it's still not perfect. Let's rewind everything back and fix it. When everyone's gone and I get into my car, my iPhone can automatically trigger an automation when it goes into car mode. It will give me a notification with a button I can press, and when I press it, it will start cooling down my house so it's not all hot and muggy when I get home. It's so awesome and Ali approves. But if I was on vacation, wouldn't this be getting triggered all the time? Not if I have a vacation mode enabled, and that's something I'll be covering soon, so make sure you hit that subscribe button to not miss it. Now, after everything's set up, do I feel like it's perfect? Yes, I do. And I know that's a bold statement, but I never have to touch the thermostat now. It's amazing. I'm always comfortable. And my wife and kids have the perfect temperature set for when they're in the room, so they're extremely happy. Even Luna is happy. And I'm saving more energy because the thermostats are running less when we're not in that part of the house. Sure, it took some work to set it all up, but I love it. I have some videos on the second channel that go into more detail on how I set this all up. I also have some videos on smart thermostats that cover things like a higher temperature swing so you have less wear and tear on your system and I'll link all those videos down below. Thanks for watching. Whoa, what's going on? Oh, whenever you walk in the room, it gets super cold. So they're probably gonna play back there for a while. Wait, you're saying I get a hangout in the air conditioned room without the kids bothering me? This is more perfect than I thought.